Stephen, that, I can imagine that's quite a frustrating one to reflect on. How are you feeling after that? It is, because I think, you know, we, we generally feel we're the better team throughout the game. And, you know, that naturally doesn't mean, say, you win the football match. You know, we had to defend um, their three goals better. You know, I don't think, uh, you know, I felt the goals we gave up were quite cheap. Um, and even the third one, you know, quite cheap to give away a free kick. You know, whether it's a free kick or not, we have to deal with the first ball. So, but in general play, I, I, I generally felt there was only one team going to win. You know, with the amount of chances we had, chances we created, you know, we started the game ever so well. We started the game in, in a really high tempo um, kind of fashion. We had opportunities. And it was almost quite similar to the St. Johnson game the other day that we felt as if, if we could have got, in the, got ahead or got the first goal, we could have went on and won the game comfortably. Uh, we didn't manage to do that. Um, you know, come on, it was quite stuffy. I felt as if we were always a threat. Even with 10 men, we were always a threat. We always felt as if we could score another goal. So, um, uh, overriding feeling disappointment. Not for me, for them. You know, they put so much into the game. They worked ever so hard. This was a real opportunity to get themselves to a semi-final and their final. Um, so, it, it's, it's disappointing from that side of it. And I'm sure you cannot question their attitude towards it either because that big moment in the game was the penalty shout. And even after it, like you mentioned with 10 men, went on and went even stronger. If you know. Yeah, it's, you know, I, I don't really like talking about referees because it, it, it gives him, you know, his moment of glory. Not glory, but it means we're almost talking about him as opposed to talking about the game. Yeah. Um, I felt he spoiled the game a little bit today. Um, you know, he has to realise the emotion of a cup quarter final. These kids are, you know, we're trying to teach them to be emotional but be within control. So um, I, I just felt the game should have been about the players today and I felt a lot of aspects it wasn't. Um, Barry Maguire's adamant he didn't pull him for the penalty. I, I, I have to watch it back. I trust Barry's judgment. By all accounts, he said he slipped. So I have to try and take his judgment on that. It's a huge call in the game because we get ourselves back to 1-1 and I think we're in the ascendancy with uh, 11 v 11. So uh, that, that side's disappointing. Liam getting sent off. I, I had every right, I think, during the game to ask the referee to explain his decisions to me. He felt it was quite right for me to you know, finish the game in the stand. I didn't swear, didn't raise my voice. I asked him to explain decisions for me. Um, he didn't want to do that, so th that's why I got sent off. So it wasn't effectively di uh, ill discipline for myself. I just asked him the question. But from the player's perspective, it is emotional, but they have to try and keep that intact. Um, I, you know, maybe a more experienced referee might have refereed the situation differently. I don't know. But it is what it is. Uh, we're out of the cup, not for lack of effort, lack of heart, lack of desire, lack of quality. Maybe just a little bit of luck in at times. Maybe we probably should have defended a wee bit better. And the boys will be learning more and more as under-20s. Part of the game will be picking themselves up as well. And you can see what some of those decisions have maybe done to the boys in there. How do you pick them up from that? Well, they're a little bit deflated. You know, let's be honest. We'll, we'll have a couple of days off over the weekend. You know, it's been a tough schedule over the past few weeks. So it gives them a little time to reflect, you know, on where they've been, what they've done. Um, but listen, we pick them up. You know, young players are resilient. They bounce back. You know, a lot of this stuff in 10 years' time, we all talk about it, you're supposed to talk about it being character building. This is what it is. Yep. You know, suffering disappointment. How do you bounce back? How do they challenge themselves to bounce back? How do we challenge them to bounce back? That aspect doesn't really bother me. I'm just more disappointed that I felt that the best team today didn't go through. Uh, I understand, as I said before, football isn't always, doesn't always work that way. But, you know, we could have done more towards their goal and we could have defended our goal a little bit better. And we might have seen a different outcome, but we haven't. We lick our wounds and move on. Wish Kilmarnock all the best. Uh, and we move on with our league season. Well, cheers again, Craig. Cheers.